Why are the feds forcing one man to wear a bugged device while sleeping? Today's Friday, October 11th, 2013. One ounce of silver is $22. One Bitcoin is $125. Peace News Now is brought to you by Bitcoin and Silver. From friends of WeUseCoins.com and sons of Liberty Mint.com. Trade value for value with fine silver quarters from the sons of Liberty Mint. That's sons with a U. The most divisible, usable silver on the planet. Order some today. That's sons with a U. Sons of Liberty Mint.com. This summer featured a flood of revelations from NSA contractor turned whistleblower Edward Snowden. Namely, that everyday folks working for the federal government are reading the content of private emails of Americans and even their web content. But did you know the NSA has an Achilles heel? The supercomputers they use to spy on you get hot. They use cycling water to cool them down. Just to keep operating one of their data centers, they depend on running through over a million gallons of water per day. But did you know that the people who are providing that water can turn it off? OffNow.org is filled with information you can use to help your state refuse to cooperate with what the NSA is doing. If you think working within government is an effective way to get things done, here's your opportunity. At OffNow.org, you'll find legislation that you can propose to state, county, and even town governments. You can literally cut and paste and replace a few things and bam, propose some legislation to stop cooperating with the NSA's massive spying effort. Go check it out right now and see how you can stop the NSA and make the world a better place. OffNow.org A town in New Jersey now requires beggars to get a permit to beg. The new law allows police to collect a minimum fine of $250 from those who beg without permission. If caught, a person can even serve jail time. This story brought to you by friends of blockchain.info. Download the free Bitcoin wallet at blockchain.info. From PoliceStateUSA.com, a man says that the federal government is forcing him to sleep with an uncomfortable and invasive device strapped to his face every night, or else he'll lose his ability to support his family. Wayne Fouts is 47, and he says that life has changed since he last went through the federal government's licensing requirements for him to work as a commercial truck driver. He says his last medical checkup, federally mandated every two years to remain licensed, left him with a hasty diagnosis of sleep apnea and required a wearing of a breathing aid called a CPAP machine. He's now struggling to sleep thanks to his obligation to wear a breathing apparatus every night, which automatically transmits data about his biological processes to a remote monitoring service. Wayne has been driving trucks for a living for the past 17 years. He says he's healthy and had no sleeping problems before the diagnosis. Wayne said, quote, I don't even snore. I'm the same weight as I was the day they hired me 15 years ago. I've never had an accident. I slept just fine until a week ago when they started strapping this to my face. I was diagnosed by a doctor 500 miles away by email. The government requirement is that he wear the device for at least four hours per night, and it electronically transmits his data back to a remote location. Quote, it's bugged. It monitors my every breath. If you don't use it, they call your dispatcher, and you are pulled off the road for a minimum of seven days, even if you're working 500 miles from home. Even though he doesn't want or need it, he also has to pay annual fees for the monitoring service, and he had to pay for the machine, too, or lose his commercial driver's license. Some suspect this recent push for sleep studies and medical equipment was because of an ulterior motive from federal regulators. Quote, 4% of the population has sleep apnea, but according to the chief medical bureaucrat, that number jumps to 30 to 40 percent when you acquire a commercial driver's license. Such is the result of granting people at the federal government the authority to punish people who drive without their permission. Peace News Now is on the next news network and is brought to you by friends of WeUseCoins.com and Sons of Liberty Mint.com. Share this episode with your friends, and if you enjoyed it, Send some Bitcoin to donate.peacenewsnow.com. I'm Derek J, reminding you that peace is the way.